Greetings everyone, Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. It's Wednesday, new review day here on the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the second album. It's about a decade in the making from a progressive rock conglomerate called The 20 Committee. The Cycle Undone is the name of the album. This is the band spearheaded by a musician from New Jersey, Jeffrey Langley, keyboard player, vocalist, songwriter. He's got a bunch of folks helping him out on this album. I'll tell you all about them in just a second. Let's take a look at the Digipack CD here. There's the booklet. All sorts of cool imagery. Got full lyrics. That's kind of a cool shot, right? All right. On the album, along with Jeffrey Langley, like I mentioned, on uh, lead vocals, keyboards, synthesizers, organ, you got Justin Carlton, backing vocals, acoustic electric guitars, additional keyboards. You've also got Joe Henderson, backing vocals, drums and percussion, Jeff Bishop, lead guitar, backing vocals, Richmond Carlton, bass, harp, additional backing vocals, also guesting on here, Laura Langley, auto harp on one track. The great Annie Haslam guesting on vocals on the title track. And you've got uh, drums were actually recorded at Studio X and engineered by Rave Tessar. Okay, of course, formerly with Kansas. Uh, Annie's vocals recorded at Catapult Sound, engineered by Brett Cull of Equilin. Moog and organ recorded at MTO Overdubs, engineer Matt Thomas, and everything else recorded at the Pawn Shop, engineered by Jeff Bishop. All music and lyrics by Jeffrey Langley. Justin Carlton helps out on some of the uh, lyrics. Mixing by Jeff Bishop, produced by Jeffrey Langley and Jeff Bishop, mastered by Larry Fast, the great Larry Fast. And art by Amanda, the Amanda Armada Project, design and layout by Nick Kulik. All right, so I think you got all the info you need to know. Uh, how about the music? Well, like I said, this is a progressive rock band or band project, whatever you want to call it. Uh, reminds me very much of Spock's Beard in a lot of cases. But there's also kind of like a cool fusion thing going on here. You know, um, Jeffrey lists one of his influences, Chick Corea. And you hear that right off the bat on the first track, the uh, 12 plus minute recodified, which starts off the first like maybe three or so minutes of the track is very much like a very cool Chick Corea electric band fusion thing. Very cool synthesizers and the arrangement really tight and busy. Love it. And then it morphs into more of a symphonic progressive rock type of thing. Really good. There's great keyboards and guitars, ripping lead guitar on this album. Uh, nice arrangements. The vocals are really well done. There's good moments of nice catchy hooks and things. Others where they stretch out a little bit more. Some of the other tracks uh, here of notable uh, Sparks in the Mind and Embers are both more kind of straightforward like prog, you know, melodic prog type stuff. Really good. Star in the Eye. You have Forevermore. Really lush. All right, great keys on that particular one. You got the Cycle Undone, which I mentioned is the big uh, epic title track. It's just under 14 minutes long. You got both Jeffrey and Annie Haslam from Renaissance doing some trade off vocals on there. Annie sounds great as always. Some ripping, ripping Moog synthesizer leads on this, or Moog sounding. I'm not sure exactly what he was using, but sounds like it. And uh, some really good stuff on here. A lot of really good keyboard parts on this album. And like I said, ripping lead guitar. Robot Death is a really cool song. Really cool guitars on that one. And then you have uh, the little brief little Dust Returned uh, kind of finishes out the album. But for me, the meat and potatoes uh, are the, the songs that really, really work for me. I really like Recodified. I like the title track and Robot Death. Those are my favorite tracks on the album. But you really can't go wrong with the rest of it. It's all really, really solid. Uh, like I said, it's good sound and recording. And if you love just modern prog with really cool memorable vocal lines or vocal melodies and things and lots of tasty lead guitars and plenty of keyboards because there's plenty of symphonic keys all throughout here it's modern but it scratches that itch for the stuff we love from the 70s but it's not overly derivative of 70s stuff at all and uh, cool cover art and uh, yeah there's really not much to dislike here it's really really solid enjoyable the 20 committee the cycle undone 3.5 out of 5 
five star. Uh, let us know what you think. I'm going to put the link to the Bandcamp page down in the comments below so you can go check it out and listen for yourself and uh, perhaps pick up a uh, digital copy of the album. And I believe you can also get the CD uh, with Ken Golden at lasercd.com. I know he had it out of stock for a little bit, but I believe he's got them in now. So, uh, yeah, go check that out and let us know what you think. And this is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, all together, all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also, down below, we got the links to our Kofi page for channel donations, our merch page, and our cameo page. So, thanks in advance for all your support there. It's greatly appreciated, and we'll see you soon here with more stuff. I am Pete Bardo. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.